they are not happy about me walking along here right now but let me tell you something welcome back to m hood fishing everybody post front conditions today i've come out here to lake holbrook to focus on the solar noon bite it was 38 degrees this morning when i woke up yesterday was the same thing but yesterday was a lot windier than today it's a little windy here but it's not going to be anywhere near what it was yesterday so i want to start right here and i'm going to focus on the shaky head with a june bug finesse worm You're seeing it right now we might move on to something else but that's what we want to focus on right now because we're probably going to have lock jaw conditions out here with what we have with this post front condition thing so let's see if we can bust some fish up out of this water this is a david dudley jig head and it's only a quarter ounce one which should work out with this wind that we have right now what's going to be difficult is trying to get bigger fish through what's in front of us all this grass but i believe there's fish along here in this corner where we're at because of this grass especially over that way so we're fishing it directly in front of that we need to almost throw in there just going to slowly crawl this shaking it a little bit as we go just lost my first shaky head one of the problems with fishing a shaky head even if you text pose it like i did is it didn't hook anything it wrapped around uh, it wrapped around a log or something a stick that's just fine i don't mind because i was thinking about going weightless with a senko anyway here we go oh that was a gar This is a good little area along here because not only does it have cover, it's got really good ambush points. Yes, there we go. I knew there'd be something off that ambush point right there. Just a little guy. But the first fish of the session, and we've been going for a couple hours now. This fish has been caught before too, look at that. Yeah, you're right, it's just a little bass. We switched back to the shaky head and we put on a green pumpkin red finesse worm right there. Yeah, you're right, let's let this guy go. I'm just gonna oh no bang boom whoa no gracefulness there you guys see it he's maybe three or four pounds i'm just walking along the road headed back towards the bike oh where did he go he looks like he's cruising the brake line so we're gonna throw out this way and keep looking the water looking at the water i don't see him anymore we switched from grass to rocks. It's the other side of the road. There's a lot of good places over here for fish to hide. It's kind of rough on this side of the street. I've already seen a maybe a four pounder cruising through. There we go. Nice. Picked him up on the drop. Nice. Look at this. I'm teasing a boat angler. Check it out. Maybe a two or three pounder. Yeah, you're right. Rough but nice. On the rough side, baby. Nice, nice, nice. I'm not gonna bother weighing this one. He's a couple of pounds. There he goes. Oh, you love me, you coming back? You Come on, here you go. You got it, you got it. Oh man, it felt like a fish, but it's freaking bottom. Damn it. I just hung up on something down there, rebarb or something wrapped around, I don't know, but it's windy right here, so I'm gonna walk down a ways. 
to where I'm out of the wind, I hate putting on fluorocarbon leaders in the wind. Leadered back up and ready to catch another fish. This is kind of a flat that we're fishing right here. It's maybe two, three feet of water. See if there's anything hanging out in this corner. There's a lot of grass here. This is the one thing, the one thing I don't like about David Dudley shake heads. They pick up a lot of snot grass. Back on this side now. This is turning out to be kind of a tough day, even though that last fish was kind of nice. Not really a big fish, but better than the first fish. Let's see if there's a gar down here. Oh, yes. Oh, no. What was that? I don't think that was a, a gar. And I don't think he's coming back. I don't think that was a bass either. Yes. Got him. Ah, it was a gar. He's probably still there. Oh, I'm actually on someone's line here. Oh, this sucks. We've been out here a long time, long enough for this wind to lay down. So I've switched to the Cinco. I wanna see if that gar or whatever was hitting me earlier is still hanging out. I'm gonna drop this June bug right down in there. Got something. Oh, but it's not a gar. And he got something too. He got my uh, Cinco. Look at that. Yeah, you're right. There's a crappie dude down there fishing. All right, guys. We didn't, we're not going to weigh this one. He's two pounds, two and a half maybe. Here you go. Yeah. I have been up and down this road <laughs> for a good while now. Three fish, one not worth really talking about, two, two okay, you know, on a day like this in post front conditions. Yeah, that's not bad. It wouldn't win the tournament, but it makes me happy. Right now we're working some activity that's along this grass line right here. <clears throat> the wind just made it, wind just made it all wrong. No, I know we've all been here. I do not want to tie up again. I'm at that point where I've been out here long enough to be ready to go. So we have a chatterbait tied up on the other rod and that is a, a caffeine shad, watermelon red. Okay, nice. Oh. It was a good fish on the chatterbait. I didn't strike hard enough. There you go. That's a nice one. Yeah, you're right, that's about time. <laughs> yeah, you're right. From solar noon to sunset, I've been out here so long, guys, that going home sounds better than more fishing. How crazy is that? So. Pretty fun day, a lot of work, kind of tough at first. Got a couple of nice fish and one dink. It's my first time to really, really throw the chatterbait. At the end of this session, I just started throwing the chatterbait. Got a fish, lost it. I didn't strike hard enough. Got a few more hits. I'm kind of into the chatterbait now. 
I, I have been doing research and trying to get back into chatterbaits. So, yeah, I got to go. Like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.